Hello friends, today I, I would like to bring a topic about Messiah. Religions with Messianic concept includes Christians, Muslims, Hinduism, Buddhism, Zoroastrianism, Judaism, Taoism, Babism, etc. So now we ask questions like Who is the Messiah? Is Jesus the Messiah? Why Messiah is important? Is Messiah God himself? Who is Messiah in the Bible? What are the prophecies about the Messiah? The Bible verse declared that Jesus is the Messiah. Matthew chapter 1 verse, verse 16 And Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom Jesus was born, who is called Christ. In fact, every time someone says Jesus Christ, is referring to Jesus as the Messiah. Why? Because Christ means Messiah or Anointed One. When we read John chapter 1 verse 29 to 41, we find an interesting story. Verses 29 and 30, the next day John the Baptist saw Jesus coming towards him and said, Now the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, this is the one I meant when I said, A man who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. He who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Verses 35 and 36 The next day, John was there again with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Love the Lamb of God. Verse 40, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of the two who heard what John had said and who had followed Jesus. Verse 41, the first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him we have found the Messiah, which translate means Christ. In another story, in Luke chapter 2, verse 25 to 30, now to was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, looking for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him, and it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came in the Spirit into the temple, when the parents brought the child Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people. John chapter 4, verse 25 and 26. The omen, Samaritan omen, said to Jesus, I know that Messiah, God Christ, is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus declared, I, the one speaking to you, I am he. So all the above from the scripture declares that Jesus is the Messiah. Now let us look into the Old Testament so that we can study prophecies about the Messiah. Let me mention some of the important ones. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 3 A voice is calling, clear the way for the Lord in the wilderness. Make smooth in the desert a highway for our God. Matthew chapter 3 verse 1 to 3 In those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the desert of Judea and saying, Repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. This is he who was spoken of through the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one crying in the wilderness, Make ready the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, 
and Prince of Peace. Wonderful Counselor, the Bible commentator Matthew Henry wrote, for he was intimately acquainted with the counsels of God from eternity, and he gave counsel to the children of men in which counsel our welfare. It is by him that God has given us counsel. Psalms chapter 16 verse 7, Revelation chapter 3 verse 18. And such is the work of the mediator that no less a power than that of the mighty God could accomplish it. Everlasting Father, Matthew Henry also wrote, He is the everlasting Father, word Father of eternity. He is God, one with the Father, who is from everlasting to everlasting. He was from eternity, Father of the great work of redemption. His heart was upon it. It was the product of his wisdom as the counselor of his love as the everlasting Father. Prince of Peace. Again, he is the Prince of Peace. As again, he preserves the peace, commands peace, he creates peace in his kingdom. He is our peace. And it is his peace that both keeps the heart of his people and rules in them. He is not only a peaceable prince and his reign peaceable, but he is the order and giver of all God. And that peace which is the present and future place of his subject. Jesus is the Son of God. And it is not in the sense of a human father and his son. God did not get married and have his son. Jesus is God's son in the sense that his God made manifest in human form. John chapter 1 verse 14. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. He was conceived and married by the Holy Spirit. Luke chapter 1 verse 35 declares the angel answered the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you so the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God let us look further to the scripture about the prophecies, prophecies of the Messiah Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 therefore the Lord himself will give you his sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear his son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Isaiah chapter 53 He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Yet we considered him stricken by God. He pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities, and by his wound we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own will, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. John chapter 1 verse 1 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Also Christ is ended God's perfect revelation of Himself in the flesh. Jesus' own word to flip, Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long with you, and yet you have not come to know me, flip? He who has sent me has sent the Father. How do you say, show us the Father? John chapter 14 verse 9 Let us look into the scripture why Messiah is so important for us. Number 1. Messiah would bring a new covenant. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 31 to 34 Behold, days are coming, declares the Lord. When I will make a new covenant, I will put my law within them, 
and Angie heard I will write it and I will pitch her cut and she shall be my pupil. Matthew chapter 26 verse 28 This is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sin. Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 6 has made us competent as ministers of a new covenant not of the letter but of the spirit also Hebrew chapter 9 verse 15 for this reason Christ is the mediator of new covenant that those who are called may receive the promise eternal inheritance now that he has died as a ransom to set them free from their sins number two Messiah or two retentive text Luke chapter 4 verse 18 and 19 The Spirit of the Lord is on me because He has anointed me to preach good news to the poor He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of the sight for the blind to release the oppressed to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor Number three, Messiah would appear or saints in suffering in our place. Matthew chapter 8 verse 16 and 17. When evening came, many who were demon bosses were brought to him, and he drove out the spirits with a word, and held all the sick. This was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He took up our infirmities and carried our diseases. Matthew chapter 20 verse 28 and Mark chapter 10 verse 45. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Number four, Messiah would be a willing sacrifice. John chapter 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Philippians chapter 4 verse 7 In the base of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind, minds in Christ Jesus. Number five, the Messiah would be the great light. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2, the people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has turned. The same reference we, we find in New Testament, Matthew chapter 4 verse 16. Again, John chapter 1 verse 4 and 5. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not overcome it. John chapter 8 verse 12 When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Number six, Messiah would perform signs of healing. Isaiah chapter 35, verse 5 and 6. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then will the lamb live like a deer and the mute tongue shout for joy. Water will gush forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. Matthew chapter 11 verse 4 to 6 Jesus replied, Go back and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive sight, the lamb walk, those who have leprosy are cured, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the good news is preached to the poor. Blessed is the man who does not fall away on account of me. 
from the above, we found that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. We need Him for forgiveness and assurance of our salvation. On this earth, we have friends, but Jesus will not leave you even if all your friends leave you. Now is the time to love Him and accept Him as your personal Savior. May God bless you. My next video is, what is childlike faith? Is it contradict to Psalms chapter 34 verse 8 which say, Test and see that the Lord is good. The answer is no. They are not contradicting each other but support each other. But how? We will discuss in my next video. So to, to visit my channel and watch my next video. And please subscribe my channel so that you will get notified all my videos. Thank you. May God bless you.